Alright guys, Toby here for TP23 Production. Now, uh, if you've seen on my Instagram, and uh, if you know know me, uh, I've probably mentioned this a few times, but uh, I am collecting the Avengers and any member of the Avengers uh, films on Blu-ray, because they're awesome quality. And uh, the other day, I ordered my own uh, Captain America on Blu-ray, and so this is my review of it. So, Captain America is the first Avenger. Uh, he is a relatively young guy, he's probably in his mid-twenties, doesn't really tell you, but he is uh, young of age and he wants to fight in World War II against Adolf Hitler and the Nazi regime. Uh, trouble is, he's a skinny little guy, um, he's got asthma, he's got all sorts of things wrong with him. However, he's a persistent little sod. Uh, so, Captain America, Steve Rogers, uh, who's played by Chris Evans, who is also uh, Johnny Storm. Uh, the Human Torch in Fantastic Four. Uh, he is Captain America. And this one time, a skinny little guy, Steve Rogers, he uh, goes to, uh, it's like a convention, uh, Tony Stark's dad. Uh, he is, he's, uh, I don't know, showing off his latest gadgets. Fair enough. He's with his mate, and his mate is called uh, Bucky. And uh, that is kind of another story altogether, the whole Bucky side of it. Uh, but yeah, he's there and uh, he won't give up and he wants to join the army and all this and a scientist overhears him who wants to volunteer him almost for the super soldier project but he doesn't know that at the time. So the film is pretty much about good versus evil and the evil side of this film is a guy called the Red Skull. Hugo Weaving, uh, he is the bad guy who plays uh, the Red Skull. Now apparently the Red Skull is part of Hitler's regime and the Nazi party. However, um, the Red Skull, he doesn't like what Hitler's doing and he wants to be more freelance almost. He wants to work for himself and take over Europe and take over the world. Uh, so that's who the bad guy is. It's all, I'm going to take over the world and uh, Captain America, Steve Rogers, Chris Evans, he doesn't like it and he wants to obviously uh, defeat the Red Skull. So it's good versus evil, Red Skull, Nazi party against Captain America, uh, Steve Rogers. Uh, yeah, and they're fighting each other really, it's good evil, America versus Germany. Set in uh, 1942 as well, so it's all World War II sort of theme, which is when Captain America was made. Um, the story of the cartoon origin the comic book origin was based around Hitler and he needed an American figure, hence Captain America, to defeat Hitler and his rise to power. So like I've mentioned, uh, the people who star in the film, uh, you've got Chris Evans who is, is Fantastic Four, he's uh, the human torch in Fantastic Four so it's a bit odd to have him as another Marvel uh, character. It might work, who knows, see what happens if the Fantastic Four ever join forces with the Avengers, that might get a bit awkward. Uh, Hugo Weaving, who's Agent Smith out of the Matrix. Uh, you've also got Tommy Lee Jones, he's a captain out of the army. Uh, he's kind of a bit negative on Captain America, simply because at the time when he first sees him, he's a weedy little man. And uh, yeah, Tommy Lee Jones wants a soldier to be in the Captain America super soldier program. However, you know, Steve Rogers gets put forward for it. And then you've got, really, uh, Hayley Atwell. Never heard of her before. Uh, she's in, obviously, Captain America. And that's pretty much the only film I've ever seen or heard of her in. Uh, she's the love interest, Peggy. They have a will-they-won't-they-ever moment. Uh, but yeah, Captain America is the first ever Avenger. The first ever super soldier, really. is the first programmed uh, soldier. So it's pretty good to have the story of Captain America. I've only seen it, like, once before. Uh, this was like way before the Avengers uh, was even an idea really. But I think it was a pretty cool film. For some reason I've got a, a like into Captain America ever since I played the Marvel game. But yeah, it's, it's a good film. It's got gunfights, uh, chases, action, explosions. Um, World War II history buffs will like it. But it's a pretty cool action adventure uh, sort of film. No real downsides, uh, nothing that springs to mind of how negative the film is, but it's pretty cool. Bit of a cool action film. Uh, if you like the Avengers and you want to see where Captain America came from, then definitely you've got to pick this up. Uh, it's not cheap, really. I mean, I picked mine up for about eleven pound. So if you get it for under a tenner, then you know, you've probably got yourself a good bargain. Uh, really enjoyed the film. 
uh, of course it set, up, set it up for um, the sequel which includes Bucky which would be interesting I kind of want to see Winter Soldier now that I've seen this and uh, somebody told me about what Winter Soldier is all about so I kind of want to watch that and uh, yeah obviously this leads into the Avengers he was the first Avenger the first soldier into the Avengers um, so yeah really if you're a fan of the Avengers uh, then this is definitely one to pick up if you're a fan of Chris Evans, Tommy Lee Jones, Hugo Weaving, Hayley Atwell even uh, then yeah this one's one for you. I enjoyed the film, uh, can't complain about it it's got a good storyline I think anyway and there's action all the way through. Don't forget as well guys Toby WTD all the links are down below as per usual uh, but yeah thanks for watching my review of Captain America I uh, hope you enjoyed it, thanks for watching